From opening a secret vault to unlocking a secret camo, here's how to complete all six easter eggs on Fortune's Key. Starting with the Dragon Stirs easter egg that unlocks a secret camo. To start this off, you want to be landing at the lighthouse and you're going to be looking for a gas can that can spawn in five different locations. There can be a spot next to this truck. There could be a spawn on the beach here beside this rock. There can also be a spawn on this dock, a spawn inside this building in the corner on the bin, or directly in front of the lighthouse here on top of these two barrels, or just outside this hut slightly below the lighthouse. Once you have the fuel can, you need to make your way to the top of the lighthouse and inside the top to the right of the door will be a generator that you can interact with to refuel the generator using the gas can. And if you stand in front of this equipment, you'll now see a prompt where you have to press your interact to stop the beacon rotation. Now for the first part of this Easter egg, you need to get the lighthouse beacon to be stopped in a very specific angle. And if you follow exactly where I stop it in this video, that is the correct position. And if it is in the correct position, you shouldn't be getting a prompt to start the beacon can rotation anymore. And if it is in the correct position, you should also see a yellow beam going through the actual light itself. And if it matches how you see in the video, then we can move on to the next step. And for the second part, we now need to go to three different locations around the map. The first being slightly left of the lighthouse on the overview map, and it's going to be this building here, where just in front of it, you'll see this lookout section with a sightseeing binocular. You need to go up to the binocular and melee it, and it's going to drop a mysterious item that you need to pick up. Once you've picked it up, turn around and head back up and climb to the top of the nearby building. And on top of the roof, if you come to this object, there will be a prompt to place down the shard. And if the lighthouse beam is in the correct position, you'll notice that the shard will reflect the lighthouse beam perfectly from the lighthouse, and it should now be beaming over towards the winery. If you don't see this, then you're going to need to adjust the lighthouse beam. But once it's reflecting off this first shard, we can then head over to the winery. And you'll want to head over to the next sightseeing binoculars, which is just in front of the winery here. Just melee it, pick up the mysterious item, and we'll now need to climb up the vines on the left side of the church roof to get all the way to the top where we can now place down our second shard. And as you see, that shard should now be reflecting the beam over towards the terraces area of the map. So you now want to head specifically over to this marker here, just slightly left of the main terraces POI marker. And on this sightseeing balcony, you'll notice the sightseeing binoculars to melee it, pick up the mysterious shard, and you'll then turn around to enter a big building marked as the gatehouse. And you'll need to make your way to the rooftop by taking up the zip. And on the rooftop, you'll see the bird's nest to place down the final shard. And you'll then see the dragon stirs pop up on your screen and you'll start to see fireworks emerge from the keep, including the firework of a flying dragon. And you'll then unlock the secret crimson worm event camo. This is how it looks on the BP-50. I don't think it's a bad looking camo. Let's now move on to the cursed skull Easter egg, which will get you a guaranteed wonder waffer DG2. To start this Easter egg, you need to land at this tower in the overlook section right in the bottom left of the map. Now between the top floor and the middle floor, there is a ladder and in between that ladder climb, there is a secret room with a boarded off door, which needs to be destroyed with a piece of lethal equipment. As long as it's explosive, such as a Semtex, a C4 or frag grenade, that should do the trick. And if you climb halfway up the ladder, you'll now be able to enter the secret room where at the back of the room is a table with a cursed relic item. And that is the cursed skull. Now, the moment you pick it up, it's going to redeploy you without you being able to deploy your parachute. And you are now cursed by the skull. And in order to lift the curse and complete the easter egg you need to get five eliminations without being taken down by another player every time you get an animation there will be the sound effect and the visual effects of the curse skull taking the energy from players bodies but if at any point you're taken out by another player you drop the cursed skull and the elimination progress sticks to the skull so if another player picks it up with four eliminations already on the skull if that player gets one more elimination that will equal five eliminations on the skull and the Easter egg will be complete. So if you're taken out at any point, you need to try and recover that skull. Otherwise, it's game over and another player is going to complete that Easter egg. Once you've gotten the five eliminations, you will see the cursed skull pop up where it says you broke the skull's curse. And a few seconds later, a special crate will drop that's marked with a skull icon. And inside will be a guaranteed Wonder Waffer DG2 as well as a self-revive. The Wonder Waffer is a two-shot elimination and it stuns any player, making them temporarily unable to shoot you. So use it wisely. Let's now move on to the Zarkor race easter egg, which rewards you with one of every single zombie's power up in Warzone. In order to start this easter egg, you need to go on top of this building here in the winery where you can see a very specific white flag. What you want to do is stand in front of the white flag and then press your reload button and it's going to start a parkour timed race around the winery where you have exactly six seconds in between each of these white flags in order to continue on this parkour race. 
The clip you're watching now is me completing it in one full run with no mistake. So you can see exactly where I go in order to hit each of these flags in time. But honestly, the first white flag is the hardest one to get to in the time limit. After that, it's pretty straightforward. And once you make it through that finish line flag, you will see a pop up on your screen that the Zarkor race was finished within time. And you'll see one of every single drop waiting for you on the roof. That's unless someone doesn't take you out like they did in my game. Now, some additional tips with this Easter egg is that if at any point you fail to get to any of the flags and you don't get to the finish line in time, you can simply restart the Easter egg by just going back up to the white flag on that tower, interacting with it with your reload button and attempting it again. But what's really interesting is that this Easter egg can actually be done multiple times. And that includes you if you've already done this Easter egg in your current game. Once it's been completed once and it's completed for a second time, instead of spawning all seven power ups, it's just going to spawn a smaller amount of the power ups. But upon completion, the white flag is there again above the tower. So this can be reattempted and completed by multiple players within one single match. Let's now move on to the golden vault Easter egg. To get to the vault, you're going to need to go to the keep POI. And in the courtyard, there'll be these doors that lead you into a room with a throne at the back. On either side of the throne is going to be a interactable light. And both of these need to be interacted with to light them up. Once you've done that, you need to go onto the throne itself and crouch and you'll notice that the circular floor in the middle of the room will crumble to form a staircase that will lead you down into the area where the golden vault is. But you'll notice that the vault door isn't open straight away. And just like upstairs, there are going to be torches all around the room. Now, every single game, there is a specific order in which torches need to be lit to open the vault. And to find that out, you need to go and look for a piece of equipment in the room, such as a Molotov or a Fermite, and you want to throw it directly at the vault door itself. Once the effects of the lethal have disappeared, you'll notice that some of the circles on the vault's door will be glowing red. And each of these circles correlates to a position of a torch in that room that needs to be lit. There are four torches on each side of the room. So you simply need to match the door. So the positions that are glowing are the only ones that have a torch on. The rest need to be snuffed. Once you've lit all the correct torches, you will see flames burst out of the top of the door. It will slowly open. And once you enter the vault, there'll be a pop-up across every player in the game saying fortune favors the brave. The crate closest to the vault door will have your loadout weapons upon opening. There will also be a golden shotgun balanced against the edge there. And there's also a golden LMG and quite a few rare loot chests, which will contain cash kill streaks. When you finish looting and want to exit the vault, you simply need to head to the right and there'll be a secret tunnel that leads you straight back into the bottom floor of the keep. Let's now move on to how to do the bank vault Easter egg. And out of all of them, this might be the most frustrating because it is very RNG based. To do this Easter egg, you're going to need to land at the town POI and you're going to need to find three electric drills. Now, there are at least six different locations for where you can find an electric drill spawn in the town area. And on screen is an overview map of the known spawns for these drills thanks to Warzone TAC map online. And I will leave that link down below in the description as when more drill spawns are found, they'll be updated on this website's map. There can be a location here on this roof, a spawn location here, a spawn location right here, a spawn location there, a spawn location there, and a potential spawn location there. Once you've gotten all three drills, you want to make your way to this bank building here, which is slightly north in the town, head up the stairs. And as you can see, we have a locked room here. But if we climb in here and go under this table, there is a prompt to press to unlock a security door. This door here in the room will now be unlocked. And you can see that there are three different deposit boxes where we can put a safe on each of them. In order to complete the Easter egg, you're going to need to have the three drills to place on the three deposit boxes in total. And when completed, you will have completed the security boxes challenge to open all three boxes in the bank and you have unlocked yourself a secret calling card. The final Easter egg will be how to get a guaranteed ray gun in Fortune's Keep. To get the ray gun, you're going to need to land at the ground zero POI. And in one of the sides, there will be these double doors, which will lead you to a bunch of signs. We will be heading left into the loading bay. And as you enter the room on the right side, you're going to notice that there is a wall that says section B, but there'll be some care packages lodged in the door that allow you to slightly crouch and then crawl into the secret room. Inside of here, there's going to be some electrified water and you're going to need to do a little bit of a parkour jump puzzle to make your way over to three different switches in the room. The first one is right up on the right side of the wall as you start the quest. The second switch is in the middle of the room by jumping onto the first yellow banister, then down onto the crate and then hitting that second switch. And for the third switch, you want to turn back on yourself, head back on the yellow banister and take a left all the way down to the end of the room and you'll find your third 
and final switch. If you've done these all correctly, you'll see the hazardous pop up. You'll now be able to enter the water and all you need to do is head back to the starting point of the room. And by the staircase, you'll now be able to enter a new room underwater and swim through a narrow little tunnel where to the other side will greet you into a new room. Simply head up the stairs, go over into the room and on the table, you will find the ray gun wonder weapon just waiting for you. And that's all six Easter eggs. If this helped, be sure to like and subscribe for more.